Hey folks, check out what we got here. Just out on the morning walk, and I've come across this Victor two-stroke lawnmower. It's just dumped on the side of the road. Just looking around, she's got cobwebs on it. Obviously hasn't been run in a long time. Deck's actually in a bit of a rough state. You can see the spark plug's got a bit of a cable tie there. There's all gunk in under the engine. But why don't we drag it home? Let's see if we can fix it up. Let's see if we can get it to run. Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. I was just taking a morning stroll around the neighborhood and I came across this discarded Victor two-stroke lawnmower on the side of the road. As you can see, it's pretty grotty and it's in pretty poor state of repair. But let's see if we can fix it and get it running here today. So let's start off by giving it a thorough coat of degreaser. We'll let that then soak into the engine frame a little bit and then we will give it a high pressure clean to get it started. All right, so that degrees had a bit of a soak. Let's get stuck into it with the pressure washer. So after a good soaking of degreaser and a clean with the high pressure cleaner, what do we got here? Well, we can see for one, as I was flipping it over, the rear wheel has fallen off. We can see there's a fair bit of rust that's flaking off of this what appears to be a steel bodied two stroke Victor. You can see the catch is actually in pretty good condition. I'd estimate that this Victor is probably from the early 2000s, I'm gonna say, just by looking at it. Let's have a look in the fuel tank. Look, it's even got fuel in there that you can see in the fuel tank. And why don't we flip it over and just show you the base of what we've got here. So just looking at the base, you can see it actually doesn't look in too bad a condition. The blades look reasonably good condition. So it's a bit unknown what I should do with this Victor. So having given it a fairly comprehensive clean, you can see this Victor is actually in a pretty sad state. But regardless, it's got a lot of good parts on it. So it's certainly well worth dragging home. But I'm thinking we should actually see if the engine runs. So let's take the fuel tank off. Let's get the fuel out, because we don't know what condition that is in. Get some fresh fuel, put it back together, and let's see if she'll run. All right, so let's get the fuel tank off with an eight mil. All right, and let's go drain that out. Just give that a good shake around in the tank what's in there and folks i'm just going to drain this into an old recycled oil container as you can see that fuel actually looks nice and blue so it's definitely got a two-stroke mix in it and as always folks just remember to dispose of waste oil and fuel in an environmentally friendly recycling center all right so having drained that fuel tank let's pop the uh, fuel tank back on the mower so just like that, and we'll line up those bolts. And pop the fuel line back on the carburetor. And we'll just pop this wheel back on temporarily like that. Now folks, I've just mixed up some fresh 25 to one fuel. Victor mowers, they ran off 25 to 1, not the uh, more modern 40 to 1. And I always like to run plenty of oil in the mix. I don't care if they smoke a little bit. So I've just got a half litre there, which I've mixed up. We'll tip that in. Fresh fuel's always good. All right, so we'll turn the fuel tap on and give it a few primes. All right, and straight away, I'll just get you around close so we can see we've got a problem here straight away. So you can see here, folks, that that primer bolt there is just split completely and fuel's just leaking out everywhere. So what I'll do is I'll go grab a new primer bulb and we'll get that on and see if it makes a difference. All right, folks, so I've quickly just grabbed out of my stash a new primer cap, a new primer cap O-ring, and I've actually got a metal needle to throw in this Victor because I just find that they start so much easily with those little metal needles. So we'll throw that on. Switch the fuel 
tap off, pull that fuel line off, bit of fuel leaked out, no problems there. And we'll get that off by taking this screw out. Now this is actually the main jet combined with this screw. So careful not to lose that. And then when we pull the cap off, you find the float will be there. So just hold that with your finger as that comes up around like that folks. And that way you don't lose that float or the old needle that's in there. We're gonna put in a new needle in anyway. And we can carefully remove that float bowl. We'll be reusing that. And we can see we've got a little plastic needle. It's one of the original Victors. Just have a look at the tip. If we can get that to focus. It actually looks in not too bad condition, but you can see the needle has just rounded off a little bit. So that metal needle will make all the difference. Now, since we're in here, we will just give the inside of the carburetor a spray with the old throttle body carbine cleaner. And whilst we are here, we'll just give this screw, which as I said, is the main jet, we'll give that a bit of a spray out as well, just to make sure there's no debris in there. All right, so we popped our O-ring on the new cap. Now we just need to drop the needle in. So you need to make sure we have the pointy end down. So drop that in like that. And then we need to put our floats on. So we'll just pop our float on just like that and hold it like that as we insert it in. So just holding that float with our fingers up, we then just insert our primer cap. Make sure that that is level across the cap there. Some of them actually have an up arrow to show you which way is up. You can see this one does as well. And then we get that main jet screw and we just screw that in. Make sure that goes in straight. And then we grab our screwdriver. Now no need to over tighten that main jet. It is all plastic, so just do it up firm because we certainly don't want to strip that out. So pop the fuel line on. Now we can turn the fuel on. We can give it a few primes. And we can see now there's absolutely no leakage. So let's give it a pull. Let's see if she'll start. Folks, that's a genuine first pull start of that old crusty uh, Victor. I can't believe that actually started first pull, but there you go. So I think I'm going to have to clean this up and make it a good mower. So folks, in the spirit of a free mower, just dragged out this old boneyard wreck of a mower here. This has got a seized four stroke mower on it, which I'm just kept lying around the place for parts. So let's see if we can grab a sir clip off say that wheel there and it looks like it's got a a reasonable spark plug boot in there at least it isn't split and held on with the cable tie so let's see if we can get that and get that onto our free victor there we go and we've also got a spare cap there in case we're missing a cap and we'll just see if we can grab that boot there we go. So whilst it's only cosmetic, let's straight away pop this little hub cap on that front wheel there. So let's just now pop a circlip on that back wheel to stop that falling off. We'll just get a little bit of persuasion there to pop that in. Just like that. And pop the hub cap back on. And we're good to go. And as much as that cable tie is clearly doing a great job with that spark plug boot, let's get that off. And let's get that recycled boot on. Just pull that off. Slide the new boot on. And then just push it over the spark plug. Just like that. And then we can give it a test pull. Well, there you 
you go folks. You can see we've got this lawnmower back into a perfectly functional state now. We've uh, fixed the carburetor issue, given it another boot off of a second hand mower, a uh, C-clip to hold a wheel on. I think we just need to pretty it up now. So the first thing I should probably address is the surface rust on the deck of this mower. So I've got some rust primer, converter and sealer out of the shed. Let's brush that on and then let's have a look to see what paint we can find to pretty this mower up. So just so that I can get good access, I'll pop that fuel tank off again. And that's just gonna give us really good access as we're cleaning up this deck, converting that rust and giving it a bit of a paint job. So as you can see, I'm just literally pouring that rust converter around the place on those bare metal rusty spots and just liberally brushing that solution on. So folks, it's literally been only a couple of minutes and already you can see that rust converter going to action. It's just forming a nice, really hard surface as it's converted that rust. And we've got to be able to paint straight onto. So let's go see what we can find in terms of paint. So found a couple of different red paints in the shed. Got the choice of the light one on the left or the dark one on the right. I am thinking that definitely the one on the left is a closer match and close enough to be good enough for this project. So let's use that and let's get into it. Check out how cosmetically good that deck's come up. Looking far better than it did before. So having made that mould look a bit better, let's see if we can do something with this old rusty muffler. Let's hit it with the wire brush and then get a bit of that rust converter on and perhaps a lick of heat paint as well. Muffler's actually looking after hitting it with that rust converter, but I reckon we're going to make it look even better by hitting it with some silver high heat ceramic paint. So let's do that now. Well, folks, if I do say so myself, I reckon that muffler's turned out pretty damn good. So let's pop that back on. And just like that, we've got the muffler back on. It's a little bit tricky to get that top clip on, but basically you've got to get that muffler up, get the clip in and then flex it back with a screwdriver like that to get that clip on. So let's get the rest of it reassembled. So get that shroud there into position. Pop this air hose back in its holder. And back on up there. Get the uh, fuel tank back on. Don't forget to pop that fuel line back on. Turn that fuel on, give it, give it a few primes, and let's see if she'll still run. Fantastic. So for the final bit of love, let's hit the plastic with some tire shine, hit the wheels with some tire shine. Come around here, hit these wheels as well. And while we're at it, let's get this capture looking all right as well. So, 
There you go, folks. What do you say? Trash to treasure? Well, maybe not quite treasure, but this Victor Two Stroke certainly going to live to see another day. As you can see, it starts first pull every time and actually looks like a pretty good unit. What I'll do is I'll pop a before and after photo in side by side into the uh, video so that you can have a look for yourself. Drop a comment down below. See what you think of the uh, mini resto we've done here and uh, leave us some feedback, guys. So there you go, folks. That's the restoration of the free Victor two-stroke mole, which we picked up off the side of the road. When we first got it, it looked pretty rough, but look at it now. It really has come up a treat. So all that's left is to take it for a, a test cut. We'll do that another day, because I've already cut my lawn yesterday with the other mower. It was a bit uneventful that uh, this one turned up, but yeah, if you have liked the video, do feel free to like, share and comment. On the channel, you'll find other maintenance and repairs around the house and on vehicles. So if you are interested in this or anything else that I've talked about, remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a good evening.